Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video, what I want to do is talk to you about a topic that is very important um, and that is breakfast. What are you getting for breakfast? Are you getting all the vitamins, nutrients, minerals you need, your protein to help your body to be healthy, which will help you to get that overall amazing hair growth. Now, before I get into my five, you know, easy breakfast ideas that really help you to get as much nutrients as possible, I want you to know that there are people in the world who, for whatever reason, they cannot stomach breakfast. They do not like eating in the morning, whether it's early in the morning or whether they just literally do not like breakfast those are the people that fit into the category that I was in I did not eat breakfast I did not like breakfast and I know why I'm going to share that with you in a second but if you're somebody who does not like to eat bre breakfast if you feel nauseous or sick in the morning then please continue watching this video if you are somebody who does eat breakfast and it's a healthy breakfast continue to watch this video you might get some tips and pointers on things that you could even do better now we've all been told that breakfast is the healthiest meal of the day um I have to do that because everybody's body is different, everybody's situation is different, so maybe lunch might be the healthiest meal or dinner. But I do know that breakfast, lunch, dinner, healthy snacks in between are actually really good for one main thing. You are giving your body the vitamins, minerals, protein. You're giving your body the tools that it needs to produce healthy hair. You're giving your body the tools that it needs to be healthy. And if your body is healthy, you will most likely see hair growth results if it is possible for you. Breakfast for me was a hard topic because I was traumatized as a child. Yes, I was. So let me tell you a little bit about my story. I had to eat porridge in the morning, like a bowl of porridge. Maybe it was a standard normal size. I don't know. But for me, it was a huge bowl. Okay. And I would eat as much as I could. And then I would leave the rest like a normal person does. No, no, no. I had one of my parents come down and force feed me the rest to make sure I was getting as many nutrients as possible, even though my body was full, even though I didn't feel like eating anymore, I was forced to continue eating. Therefore, fast forward until, you know, I lost my hair. Um, I still wasn't really eating breakfast because I was so traumatized. I just, I couldn't get it down. Every morning I would wake up, I still felt a little nauseous. And so therefore breakfast was a hard thing for me. However, when I lost my hair and I found out, you know, I was dealing with alopecia areata, which was an autoimmune issue, I knew at that point that breakfast had to be something that I really, you know, I really had to overcome that issue. I really did. Um, and one of the reasons was because I knew that lunch and dinner, the snacks in between, I wasn't getting the amount of fruits, veggies, vitamins, like I wasn't getting the things I needed to really be healthy. And a matter of fact, my health kept declining. So with that being said, let's get into the first easy meal. And this helped me so much to get through some of the, the trauma. And it was mainly because it was something different. It wasn't something I had to chew. It was something I had to drink. And that was Smoothies. I was drinking smoothies every single morning or, you know, regularly in the morning to make sure that I was getting all of the nutrients, all of the vitamins that my body needed to thrive. Smoothies are amazing because you can pretty much be creative as, as creative as you want and add whatever you want into your smoothie. You can add um, fresh fruit. Some people add veggies. You can add Greek yogurt in there for some extra protein uh, that will also help to keep you full longer. Um, you can add nuts, seeds, butters, whatever you can add to it that makes it taste good for you, but also is easy for you and easily digestible by the body, it is really going to help you with breakfast. Now, if you are somebody who is not like me, uh, you might want something warm in the morning. I, I was fine with chili to, to cool. Um, if you want something warm in the morning, then one of the best things you can do for yourself is make yourself soup the night before or, you know, the weekend, whatever. Soup is, is the same as a smoothie. It's gonna be full of everything. But once again, it's the warmer version. So in your soups, you can throw in legumes, beans for extra protein. You can throw in, at that point, if you're you know not vegan, you can throw in meat, whatever whatever you need to do to get that extra protein. But soup, once again, is gonna be full. Of, you're gonna you're gonna have vegetables in there. I mean, potatoes, you know, yams, whatever. Um, be creative, throw kale in there. Whatever you can do to get the vitamins and the nutrients into you, you are gonna see the benefits. Trust me, your skin is gonna clear up. Your hair is gonna get thicker. You're gonna notice it by those fruits, those veggies, and you know, add spices. What are some spices that you can throw into a soup that you don't eat regularly? Maybe cayenne pepper, maybe turmeric, whatever you have to do. Once again, be creative, but make sure that you are being healthy. With that being said, let's go on to, to tip number three, steaming vegetables in the morning. 
I remember I was just doing onions, uh, spinach, and kale in the morning, and I would literally put that on a plate with maybe some corn, potato, whatever. I, I I would eat vegetables in the morning. Um, once again, it is on the warmer side, but sometimes you know you know you might need a little bit more food, um, and you might not want a smoothie or a soup. Maybe you want some some potatoes. You know that is something else you can do. Steamed vegetables are really good in the morning because they're once again full of antioxidants. They're full of vitamin C, vitamin K, like folic acid, like we can go on and on and on on the benefits of having vegetables in the morning. Well, maybe you don't want warm vegetables, but maybe you want some fruit. Fruit is number four. If you can get berries, blackberries, raspberries, blueberries, um, any kind of berries, um, if you can get uh, bananas, apples, oranges. You're just once again filling your body, have a fruit salad in the morning. So you're combining all of these, you know, vitamin C filled, you know, antioxidant filled. You are going to be providing your body with more than enough to get you to start off your day, you know, full of cheer and pep in your step. You are going to have a bowl of fruit. You're going to feel good. And you know that it's full of high water content. So you know your skin is going to be glowing. Your hair is going to be lustrous. It's going to be, you know, hydrated. So you really want to make sure that you are sticking to, once again, those healthy fruits, watermelon. You know, if you want to slice up some, some cucumber just at the side or tomatoes, oh my goodness, like you can go anywhere with fruits and veggies in the morning, whether it's warm, whether it's cold fruits and veggies all the way. And the last thing, once again, I was traumatized with porridge, but I do have to throw oatmeal on the list because oatmeal is chock full of good stuff. Um, because I couldn't eat porridge, there was an alternative for me. I was eating something called quinoa flakes, and they're basically um, these little flakes of quinoa. You know, you put it in boiling water or milk, almond milk, whatever, you stir it around, add whatever spices you want. So this is once again, where you're going to be creative, add some cinnamon in there. Cinnamon has so many health benefits, you know, add some um, agave nectar or manuka honey for some a natural sweetener, which once again is full of things that are going to really help your body. And I mean, I can get into all the tech stuff. I don't want this video to go too long, but the science behind the fruits, the veggies, you know, manuka honey, the spices in the turmeric, in the cinnamon, you know, in, in the cayenne, like making sure that you are just getting as many vitamins and nutrients in the beginning of your day without feeling heavy, without feeling sluggish, without, you know, just not feeling good. That Those are the options I would give. If you are interested in more of what I was doing for maybe lunch, dinner, snacks, I do have a diet and detox ebook on my website. So please go check that out. Once again, if you are struggling with breakfast, if you are struggling with your health and are on a hair growth journey and you're struggling, I do offer phone consultations. So book a phone consultation, speak with me. I will help to answer your questions and I will definitely help to get you started in the health of you know, your overall body with uh, making sure that you are eating proper meals, including breakfast, especially if you're a breakfast skipper like I was. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. Don't be a stranger. Let's stay connected and I will see you in the next one. Oh, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. <laughs> Bye guys.